Hi friends, this is Anas Felix here and today I'm going to talk to you about top 10 travel hacks. So the top 10 travel hacks, let's start with packing. Pack smart. While packing your clothes in a suitcase, try rolling the clothes instead of folding it. This will save you a lot of space. Pack a power strip. It will charge multiple devices at one go and it saves you a lot of time. Use packing cubes. Packing cubes keeps items organized and easy to find when you want it. Check your luggage. From your ticket, check the maximum weight allowed and also how many suitcases you are allowed to carry. This will avoid you being overcharged for the extra luggage you are carrying. Next, maximize your carry-on space. And this is how you can do it. Wear bulky items. Wear heavier shoes and jackets to save space in your luggage. Pack the lighter ones in the suitcase. Utilize all space. For example, your shoes. Store socks, chargers and all other small items inside the shoe. The next subject is money and budgeting. Get a forex card from your bank, preload it with the currency that you are going to use in the place where you are going to travel. This will save you a lot of foreign exchange fees. But always have some amount of currency of the country you are traveling to readily in your hand. Withdraw cash in local currency. Use the ATM abroad. It often gives a better exchange rate than an airport currency exchange or any other exchange you will see on the tourist sites. But remember, every time you draw money from the ATM, there is a constant fee that is charged. So it is better to limit the number of ATM usage. Try to take a bulk amount. When you are traveling abroad, notify your bank. Let your bank know about your travel to prevent them from freezing your account for suspicious activity. And it's also advisable to use more than one credit card. Just in case one of the credit cards is blocked or not working, you can always use another. Use technology to your advantage. Download offline maps. Use Google Maps offline by downloading the maps from your destination or whenever you are in a free Wi-Fi zone. Use airplane mode to save battery. Turn your phone to airplane mode when charging. It charges much faster. Find a free Wi-Fi. Apps like Wi-Fi Map can help you locate free Wi-Fi spots. Make international calls using apps like WhatsApp, Zalo or Line. This will save you a lot of money. Next, we will talk about how to stay organized. Store all the digital copies of important documents in your phone. Scan your passport, visa, travel insurance, and itinerary, etc. And keep the digital copies in your email or WhatsApp or even cloud. Always use a travel wallet. Keep all your important travel documents in one place for quick access. Don't keep it in any luggage. This is very important. The next tip is about flight and airport. When you are booking your flight tickets, it is advisable to go incognito. Prices can go up after repeated search due to cookies. So this will prevent the price rise when you try to book next. Use private browsing. You can set a price alert. Use apps like Skyscanner or Google Flights to track fares. 
at the airport security, avoid long queues, wear slip on shoes, and keep your liquids in an easy to access place. Carry a comfortable mini crossbody bag to keep your passports, tickets, and currencies. Never keep them in a luggage. Distribute your credit cards and currencies with your friends and family who are traveling with you and do not keep everything together. Next, how to beat the jet lag. Try to adjust your schedule early by gradually shifting your sleep cycle a few days before your trip. The longer the trip, the earlier you should start shifting by advancing by an hour over 3 to 7 days. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water during your flight to counteract any dry cabin air. The next tip is a little difficult, but avoid drinking too much alcohol or eating too much during the flight. Get sunlight. Spend time outside during the day after you reach destination to adjust your internal clock. Spend as much as time possible in daylight. The eighth hack is about accommodation. Book last minute deals. Use apps such as Expedia or Booking.com for cheaper last minute hotel bookings. Stay outside major tourist areas. You will often find cheaper and more authentic experience a little outside the tourist hotspots. And if you are having your own transport, then it is always advisable to stay a little out from the town. Now it's about food and dining. Wherever you go, eat like a local. Ask locals where they eat. It's often more cheaper and more authentic. And what's the point? Trying to eat the same food what you're eating at home. It's always a pleasure to taste some new food in a new place. Carry your own snacks if possible. Save money and avoid overpriced airport or tourist snacks by carrying your own food. Check with your bank if you have the facility to use the free lounge access with your credit card. Here we come to the final tip, health and safety. Do not forget to pack the first aid kit. Include band-aids, pain relievers, antihistamines and any prescription medicines along with your prescription. Travel insurance. Don't skip it. It is very important to ensure you have a travel insurance and health insurance. To cover emergencies, it is very important. Well friends, these hacks can help simplify and optimize your travel experience, whether for business or leisure. Many times we forget, so this is going to help you to just remind you about these top 10 simple hacks for traveling. There's nothing out of the blues. So thanks. Thanks for listening. A big thank you for staying till the end. And if you have liked my video, just give a like, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more.